Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 43, and this is gonna be a little bit quicker of a vlog than what I usually do, but I wanna cover two things today. I am going to be giving you a walkthrough update of the clinic progress, of the new clinic progress. There's been a few things that have happened. I think the last time I showed you we were still up in the air about the paint colors um, and cabinets had not been installed yet. No lighting had been installed. Well, a lot of those things actually happened this past week. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough with that. But before we get to that, I just want to take a quick second and tell you that I was uh, reached out to this past week by Channel 3 News out here in Phoenix. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the Attorney General here in Arizona, Attorney, Attorney General Brnovich is how you say it. Um, but that the video that I made a couple weeks ago about the warning about online hearing aids uh, not well, here in Arizona, but this is something that's happening nationwide. So Channel 3 News reached out to me, out to my office this past week. They came out, they sat down with me in my office, they did an interview with me and they're supposed to be airing uh, that piece that they're gonna be doing probably sometime this week. So the chances are is that for my next vlog this next week, uh, I'm gonna include that interview inside of that video or to some degree and then elaborate on that as well. But they spent a good you know, half hour out with me interviewing me for that piece um, and it should be hopefully a good one. We'll see how they go ahead and spin that. But based on the questions that they were asking me, I think it's gonna be a good one. So I'll keep you posted with that. Um, but like I said, the things that uh, we have had done inside of the clinic, I mean, we're starting to get to the point where it's looking like we're getting a, a pretty well-furnished clinic in there right now. I don't think it would take much more than a couple weeks to finish everything else out. Um, uh, countertops are probably going to be going in this next week, and then flooring's probably going to be coming in the week after that, and uh, the hearing loop installed right before the flooring and, and those things. Um, but the thing, of course, that we're going to be waiting for are the glass walls and the glass doors. I think that'll be the, the last thing that needs to happen. But we actually have a target date of moving into the new clinic on January 11th, 2021. So I'm going to cross my fingers for that. We felt like it was responsible responsible to um, wait till after the holidays before we actually uproot and move to the new clinic location and hopefully everything will be done by that time. We're basically giving ourselves about a three to four week buffer uh, from when we expect to have the glass walls and doors installed. So that'll give us plenty of time to be comfortable, hopefully, that everything will be done on time. Uh, the general contractor we're working with right now is fantastic. They're just plowing through this build out. So I don't really foresee any issues with getting our certificate of occupancy um, and then getting everything finished before January 11th. So hopefully I'll be able to give you a, a complete tour prior to that of the new clinic space. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do for desks in that area. We do want to have things looking relatively uniform. I think that's the, the military, uh, the, the Marine in me that wants things to be uh, very organized and, and um, you know, structured, I guess, if you will. Um, kind of like how we had everything in the military when you open up the, the wall locker and everything uh, is, is lined up perfectly. So I, I really want to make sure we have a, a very cohesive, um, you know, sh uh, essentially cohesive setup inside of our clinic. But uh, that's something that won't come for several weeks from now. Why don't I just go ahead and jump into the tour? Okay, walking in the front door here, the first thing that I notice is that we have a lot of the lighting, the canned LED lighting has all been installed. And we can see that they put the vents on for the air conditioner and heating. So here we go, we have all of those. And then to give you perspective, looking into the waiting room, we do have the accent wall painted. Uh, that's a Sherwin-Williams paint color of Indigo Batik, if you wanna check that out. But you can see again in here, we have a lot of the can lighting installed, the venting there. So that's looking really good. And then as we look down the hallway here, we can see that light switches have been put in. Thermostat's been put in. And as we go back here, the kind of the coolest thing that we'll see is that they've started to put in the cabinetry. So a lot of cabinetry has been put in. Countertops are coming next. 
but this is for the reception area. Going into the manager's office here, I can see that there's a little bit of something on the wall there. I don't know exactly what that is, but that'll have to come off and be touched up. But as we're back here in the manager's office, we can see the cabinetry that's gone in here. Really nice cabinetry. They haven't put any of the pulls on yet, but uh, that'll happen here in the next week or so. And then as we go into the, tre the first treatment room, you can see that the accent wall has all been painted. In fact, you can see that all three of those walls have been painted, painted in the treatment rooms. We've got the grid in for the ceiling tiles. So that's pretty neat. And we can see that we have the recessed can lighting for those put in as well. And then the ductwork has been uh, attached to the vent for the room. And as we go through here, not a whole lot changed in the bathroom other than everything's been painted. They have the, uh, the fan in there and the lighting and the venting as well. Same thing in the second restroom here. Not a whole lot of change to the treatment rooms other than the grid work and the venting and the painting. And then back here in this room, not a whole lot happening here other than the same type of stuff. And as we go back here, this is pretty cool because this is the break area. So you can see that we've got the cabinetry installed. Uh, the color is uh, an espresso color. We have room for the fridge there. There is a shelf for the microwave. And of course we just need the sink and the countertops installed there. And then back in here is the repair room. So we've got a lot of cabinetry in here. So plenty of storage for all the stuff that we need back here as well. So that's pretty cool. And other than that, I wanna go back and check out the last room over here and not a whole lot different in here. Uh, looks like that's where they're getting power from. Little access panel up there. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the updates of the space this week. If you ask me, I think those blue walls pop. I think they look fantastic. Uh, the rest of the walls, they're just white. Uh, they're a modern white color, a uh, little off-white from Sherwin-Williams, but I think those looked really nice in there as well. It's nice to see that the place, a little bit more of the finishing touches are starting to go in, which is a really nice thing. We'll see what happens with the restrooms, with the vanities that we're gonna go with for those. We do not have those uh, identified yet. They have not been fully picked out. We've identified a few different options that might be able to fit in there. Uh, but like I said, we can't go crazy on the vanities because those restrooms are not the largest restrooms in the world. Um, but like I said, uh, that is it for today's video. It is a quick one, I know but hopefully next week video will have a bunch of fun information to share with you from the interview that we had with Channel 3 News. And as always, I'll see you next week.